They had Tuesday night a sensational performance at one point hitting 10 in a row. Nicky Johnson, yes, sir. Hello to all of you. We hope you enjoy the game. We hope you have an opportunity to see a victory here at Chicago Stadium. Chicago in possession. Blazers lead it 8-3. to three. They swing it to Wilbur Holland. He can shoot it. To go in the first quarter and leading 12-9. Well, the Bulls, knowing that this is a do-or-die situation, are playing a little bit out of control right now. Mickey Johnson forcing his offense. They are not really executing as well as they can in order to take advantage of the fact that Portland is not scoring early in the quarter. Gilmore out to Van Leer. Here's May, guarded now by Fortune. Into Gilmore. He stops him. Good move by seven feet two artist Gilmore for his first field goal of the night. Walton stopped by Gilmore, gets it up anyway, does not hit it. Johnson has the rebound. Fortune staying with Holland. Holland with a hoop. Six points in the game for Holland. will continue from Chicago. The score, the Bulls 13, the Blazers 12. The team fouls hurt Portland against Chicago in Portland because that allowed Chicago to stay close. They didn't shoot particularly well, but they were able to stay in the game. Fouls in that first game, Chicago had 27 shots while Portland had only 10 from the foul line. Points from Mickey Johnson. The Bulls on top, 15 to 14. Four minutes to play, first quarter. Larry Steele in the game for Portland. Here's Lucas, too long. Rebound to May. Bulls running. It's Johnson. He'll shoot it as Torchic stopped him. Knocked away by Torchic. Johnson. What an effort by Johnson. 17 to 14, Chicago's biggest lead, three points. Well, Dave Torzik is definitely in the twilight zone. He's banging those jumpers home like that's something he's done all the life, and he doesn't normally like to shoot from the outside. Gilmore hits the hook. Bulls will go for one shot. Robin Jones guarding Gilmore, trying to get it inside to the big man. Eight seconds to go. Johnson will take the shot and hits it. Harmon has started with Walton trying to force the ball to Twardzik. And it bounced around and never really had good control. Twardzik got his third personal foul as he tried to take it in behind that Mack truck. And it just wasn't any room. Bengel hits it. And the Blazers go up by a point. Number two rebounder on the Bulls this season. They average better than 10 rebounds a game. Holland. 10 points for Holland, and the Bulls lead by three. Here's Johnson. Nicky Johnson on the high post. In low to Gilmore. Walton stays right with him again. But well, one thing the Chicago Bulls are getting burned on successive number of times whenever they run their offense, all their people are down in deep, and Portland gets the ball inlet, and they make a quick pass, and they score. Look at that move by Artis Gilmore. Woo! Game for Chicago. May and Johnson, the forwards. Gilmore at center. Van Leer and Holland, other guards. May guarded by Lucas. Here's Gilmore against Walton. Wide up as Lucas joins in. Van Leer saves the rebound. Approaching two minutes. 44-41, Portland lead. Again into Gilmore. Tied up by Gross and Steele. by Artis Gilmore to escape that pressure and come up with a field goal. Bounding with, with Mickey Johnson putting it in play as we look at the Trailblazer events. That was just a missed call. That ball should have been the Trailblazer. Short as Van Leer. 28 seconds to go on the half. Artis Gilmore takes time making up his mind what to do. Gilliam 
somebody out there walking around with the chair. Now, you'll see That's right Tom here. Mullen, now, Tom Mullen has him around his neck, and there's nothing Herm Gilliam can do. Everybody's trying to get Herm free, and Luke says, let him free. They don't have a problem beating the Chicago Bulls. 59-54 Portland. Steal in the corner to Walton. Look at the big guy. And there's the block by Gilmore. Here's Van Leer. Penetration is shut off and they kick it back outside and Holland will take the shot and he makes it. 13th, Chicago has possession. A field goal will tie the score. Four personal fouls. Scott May shot is blocked by Gross. Gets it back. Can't hit it. 2.35 to play third quarter. Thank you, Johnson. Working, working. 19 points for Mickey Johnson. Bobby Gross on the defense. Crowd screaming and yelling. Thought that Gross had fouled. 45 seconds to go. Blazers lead the Bulls by 1.75-74. Mingel. Oh, it goes in. Hollins guarding Holland. Gross guarding May. Steele guarding Mingel. And Lucas on Johnson with Robin Jones and Artis Gilmore matched in the middle. Second team foul for the Bulls. Walton does not get it. The Blazers lead by two points, 81 to 79. Pressure in backcourt applied by Portland. 9.58 to go. Bingo! Allen's has five. Walton has five. Twardzik has five. Still, the Bulls not running their offense that well can allow these players to play. Johnson was left open for the shot, and he makes it. He has 21 points. Chicago makes the same mistake every time when they try to stop Portland on the break. They try and stop the break out high, and there's no one there. The person challenges, and the player gets an easy, uncontested layup. Fine basket by Scott May to tie the score at 85. Blazers lead by two. Four, Winkle. 88 for the Bulls, 90 for the Blazers. 7 0, 3 to play. Oh, Ricky Johnson has worked hard tonight. 23 points for Johnson. Oh, Hollins with a steal. Hollins and Twardzik. It's Twardzik blocked by Gilmore. And that brings this huge crowd to its feet. And Chicago goes in front. Four twenty to play. Bedlam here in Chicago. Bulls by two, 96 to 94. to go. Bulls lead by four points. 33 lead changes tonight. 17 ties. Gilmore! The Bulls lead by six. Timeout the score. Chicago 100. Portland 94. Walton with 16 in the game. 101-96. Hollins pressuring Van Leer. 2.20 to play. Bulls with possession and the lead of five. Go! 103 to 98 of five points Chicago lead. A minute 45 to go. The pressure really mounting. Johnson does 
doesn't get it. Gilmore doesn't get it. for Johnson. Excuse me, big series that time as they got three and four rebounds in there to get the ball back and give themselves a seven-point lead. Timeout! The clock starts. They let Walton shoot it. He gets it. The game 